if you're a character in a slasher film and you want to survive to the end credits, um, first of all, probably be in a romantic comedy. I've grown up watching these slasher films. So after watching Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I already had, this is horrible, I actually had my escape plan figured out. I always made sure that I slept in the furthest room away from the front door. I was little, so that if a killer came in, he would go after my sister first. I think they're just an excuse to see pretty girls take their clothes off and then see a lot of blood and guts. Best special effect is a good set of boobs. If you have sex, you get killed, so it's a bit of a naughty teenagers. You just have a bunch of people that are fodder for this guy that's killing them. He's usually not motivated. You know, it's like a shark. If you're making a really good slasher movie and you've got a really sinister, evil, bad guy, the way to get that across best is the bad guy can never really want to kill you that much. You know, it's kind of just something they do for fun. <laughs> I wanted to do the most devastating effect that I could possibly do with the pitchfork. And a pitchfork coming through skin, bare skin, is, is much more effective or, or oppressive than it is coming through a, a jacket or a shirt or whatever it might be. There definitely were some failed attempts to create franchise characters like in movies like Shocker and things like that. You knew that they were hoping it was going to be the next Freddy Krueger or something. And then, then, then suddenly something wacky like Chucky will take off. I tried to kill that doll at the end every way I could. You know, I ripped it apart, I burned it, and I blew its heart out because I wanted to make sure that there wouldn't be a sequel and that they wouldn't say at the end of the film, well, they left it open for sequels. You have to have the villain, the monster, be something that, you know, blows an audience, the audience's mind away. There has to be something memorable about it. And I definitely think my penis was the most memorable part of Sleepaway Camp. Someone wants to scare you to death. It's supposed to be rude and abrasive and repellent. And, you know, it's, it's a good time because the body is not a temple. The body is meat. <laughs> I don't believe that the goriest movie makes the best movie. I believe that the most thrilling movie makes the best movie. Looking inward is the darkest place to look. And I think the mistake you make when you come up with horror ideas for horror movies is, how do I make this guy scary? So you say, okay, well, he's got a big, big knife or an ax, or, and you come up with all the wrong ideas. And I think that the best ideas are the, the ones that twist you up in a different way. Usually they're about younger people, usually it's about, uh, you know, the, the people who are on, on the verge or have already lost their, their innocence, and as part of the trial of going through that, um, you're going to get your ass kicked by a cyclone mask. Yeah.